Pete Alonzo, nicknamed the Polar Bear, is all the talk in Major League Baseball. This guy can hit for power more than most any other player in baseball. What does Pete do to stay in such incredible shape? How did his childhood mold him into the player he is today? And how is his early training in Taekwondo help him become such a great ball player? When you start off your very first baseball season with 53 home runs, breaking the previous rookie record and establishing the Mets single season home run record on your debut, one can really wonder how much of a rookie you are. There was probably no better way for Pete Alonso to introduce himself to the world of baseball. We'll give you a behind the scenes look at everything you want to know about Pete Alonso his personal lifestyle, family roots, relationships, and everything he hits hard even beyond the field. Did you know that Pete also shared the same childhood dream as Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk of going to space? Okay, that's a new one. Peter's boyhood dream was to be an astronaut. He was also a lover of science growing up. Most likely not the start we expected for a baseball player of Pete's caliber. His mother read him his favorite book, Good Night Moon, before tucking him and his younger brother to sleep. In contrast, he may not soon be on his way to the moon. He still knows how to leave his audience starstruck, including his teammates. Little Pete was also a lover of science. How about this? His name, Alonzo, which means noble or ready for battle, implies that he has Spanish and Catalan heritage which is very accurate. We mean, his father fled Barcelona as a refugee during the Spanish Civil War before moving to Queens, New York, where he found a refugee. His father later settled in Ohio, where he found more stability and met his high school sweetheart, Michelle Alonzo. Did you know Pete's mother is also a sports enthusiast? We bet there are many other facts you don't know. Making an Instagram post in 2019 which featured a cute little photo of baby Pete and Mama Bear, he wrote, Mom, I love you so much and I'm so happy you helped me to follow my dreams. Happy Mother's Day. His mom was a former college softball player at Ohio Wesleyan University. And maybe it was no surprise that she drove Pete to his games as a kid. He played lacrosse and football as a freshman before focusing solely on baseball. Alonzo revealed he studied Taekwondo, the art of unarmed self-defense characterized by the extensive use of kicks. <laughs> yup, you heard that right. While growing up, he believes this helped him become the fantastic rookie and baseball player he developed into during his debut season. He also thinks he should probably have a black belt if baseball hadn't gotten his way. We guess sports and the love for the game have always been something running in the family lineage with lots of love. She also recalls throwing different items at little Pete, which he would hit for fun. And next, speaking of the amazing women in his life, irrespective of whatever storm that may have rocked Pete, there seems to be one hailstorm he must have surpassed. In 2021, he married his high school sweetheart turned wife, Haley, following his parents' footsteps. The couple seems to have had a long-lasting relationship as far back as 2015, and he described his marriage to Haley as the best day of his life. Haley is currently a blogger and also a figure skating champion. She also interned at NBC News. Both partners run a nonprofit organization, Homers and Heroes, which we'll discuss soon. Pete Alonso now deals with PTSD from his brutal car crash in March 2022. His Ford truck was T-boned in Tampa. His truck flipped over twice, and as faith would have it, Haley was behind him on their way to spring training. Being trapped in the car, he kicked out the windshield to escape to get himself out, leaving just a scratch on his arm. Definitely one of the scariest moments of his life, and ever since, Pete has been able to value each day with everyone even more because you never could know what would happen next. Speaking of trucks, how much is the Tampa Born Star worth? Can you take a random guess? Valued at a net worth of around $10 million, signing a one-year contract with the New York Mets at $74 million annually with a signing bonus of $909,200. He also has monetary cushioning from his endorsements and commercials with other brands, including BMW and Nike. 
Did you know that Polar Bear also enjoys hunting and fishing? We mean, he was featured in an episode of Meat Eater in which he hunted mule deer in Colorado with Stephen Rinella. What a great outing for the polar bear hunter. Pete has an interest in cooking when he hunts. He told the Post, if baseball doesn't work out, I think I could probably be a food critic. During the offseason, he usually hunts and cooks his food while trying out different food samples from various parts of the country. Believing his love for meat isn't to be discriminated against, Pete has tried out squirrels, elks, and even antlers, something he credited his paternal grandfather for, saying he also liked hunting and was privileged to taste a wide variety from the Barcelona native. He believes foods just like art, as he has never really followed any recipes, just his grandfather. And we say like father, like son. Alonzo grunts his way through training sessions from 5.30 a.m. in a barn during the off-season. He has no heat, air conditioner, TVs, or gadgets. Just a vastly overworked speaker blaring music necessary for workout sessions. Workouts like this have helped him play 161 games back then, even as a rookie, making him more robust as the years passed crushing a league best and setting a name for himself, Polar Bear. Pete keeps a notebook on the top shelf of his locker and writes down information, a baseball diary of sorts, on a daily basis. He says it helps improve his game as baseball is a mentality game and considers doing his homework. His hard work and dedication are almost second to none, both on and off the field. Did you know that Pete Alonso's famous nickname was given to him by another big baseball star? Nicknamed Polar Bear, after the majestic but brutal Arctic creature, most have attributed the nickname to his hitting power alone. When asked how the name came about, he credited Todd Frazier. In spring training, he, Todd, said, You look like a big damn polar bear, and then it just kind of stuck, he recalled. The name isn't just an endearing term given by close friends and fans alike. It actually reflects Pete's ability and strength in the game. He also swings a 34-inch bat with so much power doing justice to his name. Alonzo's personalized cleats are icy blue on the bottom, including polar bear claw marks on the heels, given his trademark polar bear attitude on and off the pitch. Pete's made it known that he loves his nickname and wants to embrace it as much as possible. Did you know Homers for Heroes is a charity foundation owned by Alonzo and his wife? Which happens to be our final fact. When asked, we thought that we needed to step up and help in any way possible, Alonzo said. As our lives have changed, we've been continually struck by the acts of kindness and humanity that we've seen emerge. From doctors working long hours to people taking care of their neighbors and many more stories. We mean a man with the support of his wife gave 10% of his home run derby winning nonprofit organizations, Towers and the Wounded Warrior Project, which we believe was a drive for the couples to create their charity foundation, Homers for Heroes. According to the pair via their Instagram page, it's to recognize the unsung heroes in our communities and highlight the work they're accomplishing. The organization hosts frequent events and honors for those who have worked to make a difference in the lives of others in this society. It's great to see the incredible impact players like Pete Alonzo are making in their communities and through their selfless charitable contributions. Thank you, Pete. If you enjoyed this video about Pete Alonzo, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. Be sure to check out more incredible baseball videos at Baseball Plus. See you there.